everybody, it's Captain Kyle. I'm here at Blue Hen Comic Con with Ming Chen. You might know him from Comic Book Man, or if you go to cons, he's pretty much at all of them. How are you doing today, Ming? I'm doing great. Do you remember how far we go back? How many years? It's got to be eight or nine at this point. Almost ten now. Almost ten. Yeah, I think we started at the Walker Stalkers back in 2014, and we've been going strong ever since. So uh, I love that we're still upright, still energetic, still powerful. And uh, still kicking ass. So, yes, thank you, Captain Kyle. It's an honor, always. Well, I don't know about energetic. I'm getting kind of old, but you know how it is. <laughs> Age has nothing to do with energy, man. Like, you get, you, you know, sometimes you, get, you just got to find that source of energy. I find it at Comic Cons. That's why I do so many. Which, which leads me to a question. Uh, I understand you've had an interesting 2023 at Comic Cons. What can you tell us about that? Uh, it's been great. So, somebody just asked me, like, how many cons did you do this year, or are you going to do this year? And it's uh, we're in late November right now as of as of this recording. I got three more left still up until the end of the year. So I think I'm gonna hit close to 30 this year, and that's that's a lot. That's a lot. Even I'll admit that. But um, that also indicates though that everything is back. Remember that thing that happened a few years back where we couldn't leave the house and everyone was gonna die and we you know we we couldn't breathe the air and and we weren't supposed to be with crowds. Yeah, we're back, everybody. So not only did all the old all the big old shows come back a lot of new ones popped up and um i, I want to thank them all for inviting me because I've, I've had a heck of a year i i've been to a lot of places uh but i got to go to a con in hawaii this year and a month later a month after that i got to go to a con in alaska so you know what's next you know what what's 2024 look like i don't know but it's gonna be hard to top that so have you now hit all 50 states i am four away but I'm planning on asking a couple conventions in two states I have not been to, one in Idaho and one in North Dakota. Actually, one in South Dakota, so that'll cross off three of them. So yeah, maybe a year from now, I'll be down to, to one left. Now, that would be Montana. Montana, you got any Comic-Cons? Please invite me. I would love to come to what, Billings or uh, Missoula. Yeah, one of those cities. Have you uh, been to Puerto Rico for a con? I have not. So I guess technically it's a U.S. territory, as is Guam. Not yet, but there is a very big convention in Puerto Rico. So, uh, hola, Puerto Rico. Um, please, I would love to come out. It would be mucho gracias about that. Mucho, mucho, yes, for sure. So how's the podcast been going? I know you do a lot of podcast work. <laughs> uh, podcast has been great. Uh, I run three studios in the New Jersey area. Uh, they're both humming and running, and they're doing great. And, uh, you know, the content creation like this, every, everybody wants to do it. And uh, I think every, as, as a result, everyone's getting better at doing it. So um, I think uh, as far as content creation from individuals with different viewpoints and, you know, just doing cool things and conveying it to other people, I think, I, I, I think you know, we've got, we've got a, a big boon of this. And uh, you can all watch it all for free. So, you know, who needs to go to the movies or, or watch streaming media anymore? You you can entertain yourself for hours on uh, Netflix and Instagram Reels and all that and TikTok. So hey hey, they just ended the strike. We we need to support the actors now. Oh yeah, of course, of course. Well that that that's never going to go away. You know the the highly budgeted entertainment that will never go away. Uh, but you know with the user created content, uh, you know the the normal person from you know Bangor, Maine or Dover, Delaware can also make their own uh, entertainment or content that's just as good as the big budgeted ones. Indeed, and I think you're right. You know, the more you do, the better you get. In fact, this will probably be a better interview than the first one we did many, many years ago. But what would you say to someone who wants to start a podcast? Oh, I mean, just start. Um, if you're like, well, I don't know where to start, you probably know a pod someone podcasting already. Ask them for advice. Uh, podcasters, we're, we're very, very free with, our, with helping you out. We love helping people out. And, you know, it just kind of boils down to this fact is that, you know, when I started, when a lot of podcasters started, I didn't go to school for audio engineering. I, you know, I didn't have access to high-end equipment and I, I have no formal training, but podcast is very do-it-yourself. Um, you know, I watch YouTube videos as other podcasters. I learn the, the, the do's and don't do's and what gear is good. And if I meet a new person, I'm more than willing to tell them everything that I learned so they don't make the same mistakes. Um, I don't want them to go through the same pains I did with maybe bad gear or cheap equipment or maybe one brand that was better than the other. I want to pass it all off to somebody else. 
So, uh, you know, find another podcaster, ask them how they did it. They'll be more than willing to help you out, and uh, you'll be well on your way. And plus YouTube, as you said, there's lots of stuff on there about podcasting that you can look up on YouTube. Now, with all the podcasts you've done, has there been, say, awkward or funny moments that kind of stick out in your mind? <laughs> I don't know how awkward, because I think the awkward moments are gold, right? Even if something weird happens, that makes it even more watchable. You know, that, that takes you out of the ordinary, say, interview or moment or whatever. But good moments, uh, you know, uh, we, we, we've had Kevin pop in a few times just unexpectedly. Um, you know, we, we, we pretty interviewed some really cool people. And, uh, yeah, I, 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 I love what you're doing, where you go and get, you go to cons. It's a great way to get content and great way to get interviews and uh, you know a lot of the special guests at conventions, they have podcasts too, so they know they know what it's like to get content. And a lot of them are willing to give you at least five minutes for an interview, which is cool. So um, yeah, I, I I I love that a lot of celebrities are, are podcasters now, and th th that just boils down to the simple fact that they have no rules on what they can and can't talk about on their own show. So they be like, oh yeah, I work with that guy. That guy was awesome. Or yeah, I work with that guy. He was horrible. He and that's. I want to tell you a story about about it, and uh, you know, no holes barred, right? So it's pretty awesome. Well, I'd say there's still some rules, and there's still NDAs, you know, and you don't necessarily want to badmouth too many people, like I do about you all the time. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> hey, if, if I deserve it, I deserved it. You know, if I, if I was a jerk, I was a jerk. You know, there's no getting around that. So yeah, that's real, man. That's real. But I try not to be a jerk. No, I, I have not encountered you as a jerk as of yet. But if I do. You will all hear about it a lot. Um, so, being to so many cons and you get people coming up to your tables, what's the most interesting story that comes out when you're dealing with people coming up to your table? I, I mean, I mean, for me, it's just so you know. Back in the '80s, when I would watch a TV show that I really like, uh, say The A Team, MacGyver, you know, or, or or a cool movie, you know, Empire Strikes Back. The first thing I would do was go to school and talk to my friends about it. And uh, I was like, oh, man, did you see that episode? That was awesome. Um, I met a group of kids that said they, they did the same thing with comic book men. Uh, we aired on Sunday nights. They would go to school. And on Monday, I was like, oh, man, you can't, I can't believe what Ming did on last night's episode. And I'm like, that's what? Like, that, to me, that's reserved for, like, good shows, right? Like, <laughs> you, you know, like the 18 where stuff blew up. You know, nothing really happened on our show. But they said... Uh, they would get together with their friends and kind of recap the episode. And I'm like, that's crazy, man. That's reserved for a show like Game of Thrones, right? Or or The Mandalorian or something. Like, not for a comic book, man, but that's that's what these kids told me. And I was incredibly flattered hearing that. Well, this is the way. Um, though, to be fair, as many people got shot on comic book men as got shot on the A-Team. Yes, you're right, which would be exactly zero. Yes, indeed. So what do you have coming up? Any uh, exciting new guests on your podcast or exciting new things that you'd like to promote that you can talk about? Uh, I, mean, I mean, the guests kind of just happen when they happen, so uh, don't have anything planned yet. But I'll be, be probably coming to a Comic-Con ne near you in 2024. So got to cross off that 50 states list for sure. Uh, but there, I mean, there's so many great cons out there, so many awesome cities I love visiting and so many awesome people I love hanging out with. So uh, I think the one thing that I'm really, really excited about, right, as of this particular moment, I'm going to a con in Denver next week called Galacticon, and uh, my friend Sarah scored us reservations at the world-famous Casa Bonita, everybody. I am going to Casa Bonita from South Park, a place I've wanted to go to for 20 years. That Casa Bonita episode aired, I believe, in October 2023, and 20 years later, I'm finally going. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know the story, uh, Matt Parker and Trey Stone uh, are billionaires now. They're, they've made a billion dollars. They signed a billion dollar contract to make more South Park. And the first thing they did was they bought Casa Bonita and they renovated it. It's finally open and I can't wait to go. That's awesome. So pretty much when you go to cons, you're just there to do be a tourist as well, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. But I like to go to stuff off the beaten path or fun stuff. But, uh, you know, Casa Bonita, dive bars... Um, you know, hole-in-the-wall restaurants. Yeah, these are all ex life experiences, my friends. Well, that is awesome. Um, before we wrap up, anything you'd like to say to all your fans out there? Uh, yes, if you've seen the show, thank you very much. If you haven't, uh, they're streaming all for free on YouTube. Uh, just search Comic Book Men. And uh, I'll see you at a con near you in 2024 and beyond, my friends. Especially in South Dakota. Especially in South Dakota. Let's go. Yeah, Sioux, 
Uh, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. I'd love to come this year. <laughs> Sioux Falls. Supercon, it's called. I'd love to come out this year. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ming. Thank you always, man. And everyone out there, thanks for watching. Let's always have fun and follow your fandom. Hey everybody, this is Ming Chen from AMC's Comic Book Men. Listen, I'm a fan, I'm a fanboy, and when I need news, updates, and everything else on fandom, I go to Fandom Spotlight. Remember everybody, follow your fandom and have fun.